Uh, Dr. Group, in this segment and the next segment that we have left with you, where do you see all this going? Because they're consciously, in the White House Science Czar's own words, trying to dumb us down, they're consciously putting fluoride in the water that they know brain damages people like the Nazis and the Soviets did on record. They're consciously trying to induct all our kids into the psychotropic system. They're consciously just wrecking everything. Where do you see the end game going? For them, it's all about control of the population, control of the individual, and population control because, and you know, it's just a big money game. Um, but what I do see happening is people are waking up every single day by just getting this information out there. I mean, all the listeners, if you have any family members on psychotropic drugs or if you're on psychotropic drugs, do the research and, and look at the history of them and try to get yourself off of them as soon as possible. I see, you know, a serious war going on. I mean, you have the the plan cabal over here that are trying to destroy us all. But then at the same time, you have the people that are trying to help everybody by getting the information out. That's right. Never forget there's good guys in the world and you're part of it, folks. Exactly. I mean, and the more the information gets out there, the more that people can make decisions. But, you know, part of the reason why they want everybody classified with mental illness is because they then they can say, well, you're not fit to make proper decisions. So they want to take away your mind. And that's like, you know, they've already been taking away your body and, and making you sick, but to take away your mind is the next step. And what I hope that happens is people start realizing and doing the research behind this and start focusing on natural solutions. And the natural solutions are addressing the root cause of why you're having problems to begin with. And why is super male vitality and, 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 and the iodine you developed for us and the fluoride shield, why is it so much better than the competitors? I mean, really, I, I went with you because you are the best and because we used them beforehand, the, the, you know, the proprietary test uh, supply. Why is it so good and why don't other people put stuff out this good? Well, number one, because they don't choose the right type of herbs. They don't choose fresh herbs. And then it's our processing technique that we developed, which was based on 16, you know, from the 1600s, some of the great alchemists and herbal masters back then that worked were exclusively for the kings, like Paracelsus, and the way that they process the herbs, the way that they pick the herbs, and the way that they can concentrate the herbs. I mean, we have a specific technique where we utilize certain alcohol tinctures, for example, you can only pull about 40, 45% of the active constituents in the herb out of it. And not only that, but alcohol in a formula is an endocrine disruptor anyway. It pickles so, it. So you don't really want to put uh, medications or natural medications or herbal tinctures in alcohol. You want to use it in a vegetable glycerin base, which is which is safe and effective, and it's a great extractive medium. Why does it get stronger in the bottle? Because when it was fresh and came, it wasn't that strong. Why, is it, why does Supermel Vitality get stronger? Well, this is this, the basis of al true alchemy was that uh, by utilizing the whole plant and using a certain proprietary technique that you can actually burn the ashes and purify the ashes and put those ashes back in the plant, it actually comes to life again, comes to life again or the energy comes in it. And so basically it gets strong. We don't mean like kooky turn lead to gold. No, I mean, we, we, we mean uh, real stuff that was developed by the ancients. No, yeah, this is real stuff. As a matter of fact, you could uh, turn a bottle over, like let's say, uh, you know, you make it and you turn it over and there's nothing. You let that bottle sit for a year and then you turn it upside down and you can literally see crystals growing off the bottom of the bottle down into solution. So there's an act, something is happening in that formula and it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger with age. What I, pro, what I foresee happening with these formulas... You're saying the compounds are replicating in there. I'm saying that there's, there's activity like life, energetic life that's going on that's concentrating the formula, almost like a fine wine. He was explaining that it's the different uh, elements and things that are in there literally uh, alive because uh, they never basically kill it like a real bottle of wine that just gets better uh, as a uh, vintage. Explain that to people. Well, it was based on uh, the, the alchemist Paracelsus in the 1600s uh, who really termed the, the spagyric, uh, which is, means to separate and recombine. So what he did was he separated the essential oils from the plant. He separated the the other constituents from the plant and the minerals from the plant. And then he 
fermented the, the plant to create activity in it. And then ultimately, long story short, he added everything back into the plant, uh, into the tincture. And that was the final tincture. And some, some, sometimes it would take up to six months to a year just to make one herbal formula. But, the, but it was so powerful and so therapeutic that you would only need like maybe one or two drops to get the job done. Now, we lost all that technology, but whenever I was looking at doing herbal extractions, I didn't like the fact that people were just throwing a bunch of herbs and alcohol, Everclear, for example, and letting them sit for a couple of weeks and then bottling them. I went back all the way in history to the Egyptian times, everything, and tried to figure out the best way. That's right. You pioneered using, uh, using glycerin. Yeah, this is this is all pioneered. I mean, there's nobody. I mean, it would literally take years for someone to come up with this type of technology. But we're basing it on on old technologies and new technology because they didn't have the type of equipment. Back you then. use sound yeah. systems and, and all sorts of secrets. Yeah, we stuff. use all different electricity types of, uh, of high energy sound pulses and all kinds of stuff that doesn't that's completely cold process. See. You know, even the alcohol tinctures will will t boil them and boil down the herbs I and mean, take them up to high temperatures. That's how you keep it uh, uh, cold so pressed. We, yeah, we keep all the temperatures under 100 degrees usually during the whole extraction processes and everything. So, I mean, it, but it can still take up to six months sometimes just to do an extraction and to keep it in its high. No, no, we have trouble high. getting enough of it because you guys will sell no right. wine until it's time. Right, exactly. So... So that's the that's the process of ours. So that it actually gets stronger with time. And what I foresee in the future is that you could have an herb that was made in 2009 uh, go on auction for hundreds of dollars, as opposed to an herb made in 2014. Because sure, because before I pulled the trigger, I had the test bottles, a whole bunch of them, and I was and 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 I was like, man, over time they got stronger. And then when we got the big stuff, and I said, this isn't as strong. And the stuff that's been there for a month, now it's strong. And it's getting stronger. I mean, so I guess it does change like wine. Right, it does. It does. So, I mean, that, the, the way I see the herbal extraction industry going is that the fact that they're going to be producing and holding a certain amount back, just like the wine industry, you know, from 2008 wines, 2009 wines. What I hear now, actually, is that people, as an investment, are buying pre-2010 California bottles of wine because that was pre-Fukushima. You know, now, personally, in my opinion, I think most of the stuff is contaminated over there. So eventually, one day, let's say if California is uninhabitable because of the Fukushima, you know, somebody might have a 2010, 2009 bottle of wine that was grown in California. You know, that would be a good investment because it's going to get better with age. So. Amazing. We're developing some other products together as well. I appreciate you coming in. We've got an hour till the show's over. I've got Ben Swan coming in. If if Anthony or somebody would like to do, sit down with you and go over that whole report uninterrupted for the nightly news, we could air it next week. I know we taped a few reports when you were in here last time. I'm not even sure all those have aired, but uh, if you want to scramble the uh, the uh, X wings over there and uh, do a whole report breaking down, uh, you know, the plan to drug the entire population or something, I think it'd be good to have you run through that concisely and say a 20 minute special report, Doctor Group. Okay. Yeah, what I like to do is I like to just give people the actual factual numbers and statistics of what's going on because that's pretty shocking when you can actually see those numbers. And and not only that, it, it motivates you to do something sure. about it. We're out of time. Give your website up. Globalhealingcenter.com. All right. And you can get all the great products he's developed for us at InfoWarsLife.com. You are watching the best of The Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.